Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition and the Tamerlane Campaign, where I've been really, really enjoying it. The last mission gave us a little bit of difficulty, kind of because of a bug, but it was kind of my fault as well. But today we are jumping into mission four in the campaign, Sultan of Hindustan. So let's see what this one is about. Listening to the stories of the stranger had stirred our appetites, and we eagerly began to devour our meal. I invited the old man to sit next to me. I still thought that this Tamerlane was more myth than man. Surely he had been beaten in a battle at least once. The man has the cunning of a wolf and the composure of an owl. In some battles, he strikes hard at the center of the enemy line, while in others, swift horsemen outflank the opposition. Then they feign a retreat to bait the enemy into a trap, a storm of arrows. When Tamerlane decided to cross the Tiber Pass into India, a different and terrifying challenge faced him. The armies of the Delhi Sultanate ruled the battlefield through the powerful elephants. Monstrous beasts known to crush a horseman with a single foot. Growing up his lines, the clever warlord waited to spring his latest trap. Ah, okay, okay. So we've got some new enemies here, but as Tamerlane, we have to probably make more mountains of skulls and bones, right? That's kind of what we do. We show up and we make mountains of skulls and bones. Let's see. Oh, we just start right in the middle of this giant battle. Main objectives, wait for the battle to begin, really. Tamerlane's forces can advance to the Imperial Age, finally Imperial Age. Support a population of 200 Tamerlane's forces have a large supply train with them, but it will not last forever. Delhi must be taken before the timer representing your remaining provisions run out. Oh, it's a timed battle. Okay. Proper troop management will determine the course of the initial battle. Use the speed of your light cavalry to flank the enemy and target the vulnerable range units. The mountains and forests in the south and west of the map are abundant with resources while plains surrounding Delhi are ideal location for additional military buildings. South and west are resources. Okay. Outlying villagers and monasteries are providing the garrison in Delhi with supplies. Eliminating them would be wise. Outlying villages and monasteries. Okay, so. Luck relies on the charge of these armored elephants, but he has no idea what is coming. What are these Some flaming camels? Send forth the flaming camels! Ah! The elephants fear my camels and stampede back towards their own lines. Press <laughs> the attack! Okay, let's try group up our units here. Also, the mouse cursor is not constrained. That keeps becoming an issue. Let's try flank. Okay. I tried. I tried to micro. What's going on at home? Are we doing anything? Um... I have no resources. I have no resources. Okay. So I did my best. Nothing now stands between us and the riches of Delhi. Okay, we have resources. For our own. Uh, we also need to get that upgrade and do that. And we we start with three town centers. Okay, seems good. We start with zero villagers. Okay. You are gonna be building some of this. You guys just need to start gathering around. Elephants are gonna stick back here so the horsemen can move around a little bit quicker. Okay. We also need source of food so please get onto that please okay, good yep we just want lots of villagers you are also gonna start chopping trees here 
Uh, I want to get this upgrade so that we can start scouting a little bit quicker. Do we have any starting monasteries? No. Okay, lots of resources here. Stone, gold, okay. Now I learned from the last mission that we kind of should be mining up. What is this? Can we take this out now? Who's this? Outlying villages. Oh, this is one of them. Do we have enough to take this out immediately? I think we do. Unless they have a castle or something. Okay, you guys are going on gold. We have a little bit of stone here. You guys need to get onto fish as well. Let's wreck this village immediately. What is that? There's like some gold behind... Can we get to that? Is there a way into there? If I send you to there, can you f figure out a way? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think I found a secret. There's like little bits of gold back here. This, this whole back area. Okay, so we got that upgrade. We're gonna wreck this outlying village immediately. Thank you. There's just so much gold back here. We have so much gold. Oh. I see. I see. It's an outlying village. Got it. Got it. Don't worry. Let's build a monastery. Because I don't think we have one. We can use the resources that the villagers had stored here. Okay. Just trying to keep booming here. Keep chopping trees. Also, just prep to start chopping more trees. Okay, good. Uh, surely we have a blacksmith. Okay, what are we short on? Food. So I want to be doing this. I also want to make sure we are auto doing that. Do this. Keep villagers coming here. Okay, wrecked one outlying village. Come back here. Let us get a couple monks. So that we can actually heal up. We can start training some cavalry archers. Just to reinforce. Uh, let's keep villagers going. Let's mine this. And you are gonna do this. Okay, good. Mine up the stone, please. Okay. You guys are idling. Please stop idling. Okay, we're gonna heal up. So we got to destroy five castles in 82 minutes. Raid outlying Indian villages and monasteries. So this back here, they got a couple things. I want to get the thumb ring upgrade. But also, we need a lot of villages. Okay. Let's start mining this. Also, I think I would need to stick a castle in each in each location to make sure we actually can survive this. I'm gonna build that, go back to chopping trees. Okay, we're gonna research thumb ring. We want to get more attack. Um, attack. Okay, we're just short on food. We got plenty of gold, so let's do this. This is four. One, two, three, four. Do that. Okay, you guys just heal up. I'm gonna keep mining that. Get more villagers. Get more villagers. 
Okay, we're short on food, so you guys are gonna do this. Okay, do that. Uh, more stone is coming in. So let me just drop a castle here as well. Then go back to that. Okay, we got the thumb ring upgrade. We're gonna get that upgrade. This should be enough to wreck this monastery. So let's send these guys back. Uh, also, I want to grab just more of these guys. We have a castle, we have a castle. I want to grab that upgrade and also we can start training up those guys. We just need even more food. Do that. You guys have finished. Get on to food. Okay, we're gonna lose a couple units. Okay. <sighs> Kill those guys. Alright, so this is all just gold and stone back here. I didn't realize we have infantry. Can you guys, like, not be part of my army? Also, I want you to just go around scouting as much as possible. You'll probably die. That's fine. Okay, we got a castle here. You guys need to. Okay, you guys do that. New troops. What are these guys? Elite Mamelukes. Oh. <laughs> They're straight there. Okay. We're starting to get... We can go straight into the Imperial Age. I think that's a good idea. That'll give us unlocks for more resources and stuff. Food starting to come in a little bit. What was that? That was a monk. Oh, there's a relic. And also, you just gave away your position. <laughs> no, no, no. That's my relic. They just give away their position. Um, can you just... No, no. Uh, farm. Okay. You mine that. You chop that. Okay. There is something over this way. What difficulty is this? It is hard. It is hard. <laughs> Big brain plays. That relic is mine. Okay, we need to keep these guys training, these Keshiks. Um, train up more of those guys. Train up more of these guys. See, just keeping track of all of our military buildings. Train up more of these guys. The bigger the horde, the better. We could get some step lancers. Okay. Another relic. Let's grab that. More troops joined us from the west. Okay, we got a pretty significant army. In the Imperial Age. So basically we need some trebuchets. We're short on gold. Really? So we actually need to go mine more gold. Thank you. Uh, let's grab you. Uh, mine gold, please. Let's get a bunch more villagers mining gold. We're spending quite a lot. Uh, we do need trebuchets. There's the Elite Keshik upgrade. Okay, we've also probably... Oh, we just need so much more gold. We don't have anyone idling. Uh, 
Let's just get lots more villagers going. We've only got 50 villagers. Look at me and my pro plays. We've only got 50 villagers. <laughs> All right, come back and heal up a little bit. We're going to grab that relic as well. Uh, also, just prep to mine that. Mine that. No, do that. Okay, good. We'll heal up a little bit. There's probably a lot of upgrades we could be doing. Cavalry armor is probably a good one. We have a trebuchet. 200 gold. Uh, do we not have a market? Oh, we didn't start with a market. That's fine. Uh, we can get the gold shaft mining. We're gonna need that because we're short on that. Got another trebuchet. And we just have to destroy castles. Okay, that's healed up enough. These guys. that you guys can stop mining stone I just want to drop a castle right there and then go to mining gold nope, don't do that. Okay. okay we've got two of these now you guys can start hitting that castle and we'll defend from here. So we do get plus one range on these things. Villages caused extra damage in the effects. Uh, produced faster. Trebuchets receive plus one range. That's the one that we want. That's just a pretty good one overall. Okay. So we're gonna wreck that castle. Also. Cavalry archer. Just try figure out what the rest of this map looks like. Oh, we're under attack. Jeez, they do so much damage. Elite skirmishes. I'm gonna get the elite Keshix here. Yeah, pull back. Okay, let's pack up. Okay, let's pull back. Kill these guys, please. I know we're taking shots. Let's keep training those guys. Let's keep training these guys. What is this? Heavy cavalry archer? Okay, everyone pull back, please. We're gonna need to replenish our forces. That's what the horde is for. Okay. So now we need to keep finding. Step lancers, okay. Need to find the rest of the castles. There's another one. So there's five of these? There's five of these? Light cavalry have better vision range? Really? Okay, we're gonna move up to here. I don't know if there's any more... Uh, the, I mean, I'm sure there are plenty more outlying villagers. So these guys got the plus one range. 17 range. Okay, what is that? Elite Elephant Archer. Jeez. Okay, we need some of these upgrades. Uh, heavy Cavalry Archer. Elite Step Lancer. Okay, that's probably a good use of our gold for now. Okay. I'm gonna need to intercept that. Okay. Hold them off. Keep training units. Keep training units. Three remain. Pack up. So I assume there's going to be some that are on the inside, right? This is just a massive 
city, isn't it? Pull back. Okay, uh, other upgrades, blacksmith upgrades, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, don't get too pulled into that. Let them come out here. So, we can replenish our forces. No, okay. You guys get that, you guys kill these. They'll probably send troops from this side as well, we gotta be careful. No, is it fine? Oh, there they are. Okay, everyone pull back. Train more units, train more units, train more units. Three of Delhi's castles lie in ruins. Oh no. Okay, you two pack up. Oh, what is this? Trade cards? From more outlying villagers? Okay, I assume we're gonna have to bust through this. So let's take out these. Towers. Uh, any other upgrades? Blacksmith. I know I should be hotkeying all of this, but I'm doing the best I can. Just train more units. Shift click is like the best thing. Oh, kill that guy. You guys have to bust through that. Okay. All this trade has to stop. You take out that tower. Stop, pack, attack that. Stopping all this trade could be pretty significant. Now all of this can actually be put to good use. Let's bring these guys over here. Let's kill this. Uh, we didn't get a university, did we? Um, we could build a wonder. Just stick a university there, please. Okay, once that's killed, bust that down. These guys can go to take out more outlying villagers. Train more units, train more units, train more units. Okay, no, you gotta take that out, please. You gotta take that out, please. No, no, keep taking that out. Okay, these guys can cross over. Try find more outlying villagers. We got a university. I'm going to want missile units have plus one attack strength. We're gonna want that. We're gonna want murder holes, we're gonna want ballistics. Nope. Okay, you guys are just gonna run in here and wreck things. Just attack, move up to here and do what you can.
Okay, we still have an hour. So it's going okay. Yeah, I'm not even gonna micro. I'm not even gonna micro. We're just gonna keep training units on the back of this. You guys kill that, please. Okay, you guys gotta pack up. We can replenish forces. This is working out fine. <laughs> okay. No, let's kill that. Let's run these guys away. Had much gold stored in this dock. Ooh, much gold. That's a lot of gold. Okay, let's try find these final two castles. What are we even looking for here? It seems like they're running out of units. We managed to hit the supply cap. What is that? A wonder? Okay, you guys just... Oh, we can't destroy the wonder. Yeah, kill that. Okay, there's the castle. You guys are going for that. No, no. What are you pathfinding? This is not efficient, but we have taken out that. You guys make your way over here. I think we can just set the rally point to here. Hand cannoneers. No, no, don't do those. No, no, what am I doing? Heavy cavalry archers. Elite Keshiks. Step lances. Oh, they took out my... Trebuchets. That's not so good. Let's grab two trebuchets heading up there. Let's grab two trebuchets heading up here. And then just more of these guys. More of these guys. Okay, let's pull back. Kill that, please. Our troops all getting a little pot shotted at there, but okay, it's fine. Uh, okay. This is almost destroyed. Trebuchet replacements are on the way. That's their last building. Come back. Just keep training those guys. Keep training those guys. Keep training. Okay, good. Those guys. Those guys. These guys. Much gold stored in this dock. Units at backs after your saber cast produced faster. Yeah, get that after that. Okay, these guys are now done. Okay, it seems like. I have ah oh, there we go four trebuchets okay so we should be able to rush into here okay 
Okay, we're gonna have to... Was this tower in range? That's probably why, right? No, no, wrong, stop. You're going for that. Let's do some... Why can't these guys make it over? Oh well. Take out that tower. Take out... No, no. Just take out this tower. It's causing some problems. Okay, try pick off these things. Okay, good. Stop. Back up. Oh, so there's all of this. So just attack move. We have to find that remaining castle. Where is it? Is that just a... Oh, that's a mosque. Okay. It's probably on this western side. Where is it? No? Further in? Up here. There it is. Okay. We got it. We got it. <laughs> uh, we can just keep training units. I think I did okay. I think that booming right from the start is a big deal. Kill those guys, please. Here comes the trebuchets. Just distract the towers while the trebuchets go attack the castle. And we're just raiding the rest of the city. Did it. Did it. <laughs> Delhi Garrison resigned. Don't you think I'm doing much better than I used to? <laughs> Since mission one, right, Karyu? <laughs> ah, I just focused in, did the macro, built up the horde. And this time we had trebuchets, which I'm so happy about. I, I was pretty happy about not having trebuchets in the earlier missions because obviously everyone was going to play the same way if they did. But I was sort of getting to the point where I was like, yeah, I want trebuchets. I want trebuchets. Hmm. Mm, the collapse animations are somewhat between awesome and weird. Yeah, they're they're a bit weird. They're a bit weird. Uh, but we also managed to do all the bonus objectives this time of taking out the outlying villagers. Uh, but let's go ahead and leave this map. The Indian army relied on the charge of its dreaded elephants to shock their enemies and drive them into disorder. No stranger to the art of war, Tamerlane muses. In a stroke of genius, he loaded the camels in his baggage train with straw and wood and set them aflame, whipping them toward the enemy lines. The sight terrified the elephants, who doubled back and trampled their own men. The battle was a rout. Two hundred years' worth of Indian treasure was loaded onto a train of wagons carried back to Samarkand. In response to an uprising, Tamerlane's armies reduced the jewel of northern India to a charnel house. 
death and fire mingled in a putrid stench that enveloped Delhi for weeks. Still, Tamerlane was not satisfied. There was unfinished business to the West. Ah, well... My prediction was correct. We show up, we go ahead and make a pile of skulls. Make a pile of skulls. <laughs> How did we actually do? What was my villager high? 62? Um, technically half your population is supposed to be villagers, but I think we, we did fine. I think my problem was I just wasn't spending, spending the resources fast enough. We did get the two relics. Relic gold wall was, was 1,750, really? Total castles, five. We built three. We were never attacked, so those castles we didn't really need. Went into a relatively quick Imperial Age here. Oh, that was... Wait, Shah... Tugluk... Oh, that was just starting thing there, right? Then we wrecked one of the outlying villagers, then the two monasteries there. And then we just wrecked them there. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. Units killed 407. Hmm. Alright, that is going to be the end of mission number four, the Sultan of Hindustan. In the next one, Scourge of the Levant, we are heading back to the west where we have unfinished business because some people weren't treating us all that right. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for joining. If you'd like to support the channel, there's a Humble Bundle referral link down below where you can buy this game or any other and it helps support the channel. There is a Patreon, which you could check out, and there is a merch store where I design my own gaming merch. So thank you so much if you check those out. You can also join us on social medias, follow on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, a little bit on LinkedIn and TikTok as well, and join us on the Discord where we have a fantastic community. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can click the buttons on the screen right now to check out over 1,500 videos. That's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for joining, and I will see you in the next video.